In this tutorial, let's continue rigging tutorial and let's discuss what is inverse kinematics constraint. Let's define and give you some information about inverse kinematics constraint. It's just a method controlling to, of controlling the posing and animation of a chain of bones. For example, we have this armature over there. This is a wonderful tool for animators. The activation of the tool is found in the properties editor bone constraints button. Like this should be over there and you have add bone constraint and you can and you can activate it. So in order to activate it you should be make sure that you are in pause mode like this and select the bone for example. Go over here the button call it bone constraint properties, go over add bone constraint, search for inverse kinematics, we have spline a AK inverse kinematics and we have inverse kinematics over there. So with inverse kinematics dragging the end bone of the chain we result in the chain following selected bone. Uh, the inverse kinematics is the opposite of forward kinematics with FK you have to rotate the chain of bones one by one to pause for animation. This is a tedious process but gives you full control. So do not confuse IK inverse kinematics with the spline IK. An example of inverse kinematics would be to create a chain of bones. An armature single bone has been added to the 3D viewport editor, then extruded like this. Up from the tip, creating three bones. I'm gonna be just creating three bones to test it out on this finger. The bones are automatically connected for a single armature. So let's continue to show you something very interesting. So in, uh, in the top bone has been selected like this. Go over edit mode. Click on it and switch to edit mode like this. Select this bone 002. And disconnect it and we should disconnect from the armature by pressing Alt then P. It's gonna be showing this pop-up menu, so clear parent. Grab it over there like this. And you can see it clearly in the outliner editor that this bone is not parented. So let's rename it, click on it, double click in, then rename it control. Hit enter. It's gonna be renaming this bone. With comma that I'm gonna be using in inverse kinematics. With the armature selected in object mode, go back to object mode, armature selected in object mode, or edit mode bones, names are displayed in 3D viewport editor, like this. Disconnected top bone has been renamed control in the outline editor. The bones forming the armature are listed in the outline editor as shown here. in the order of connection so you can know that the bone named control is shown uh, as separate to the list this bone will be as the name suggests a control bone for manipulating the armature the bones in the armature are connected but at this stage select an individual bone in pause mode will only see it rotate about its base Bones above in the chain will also move, but that is the limit of the posing. Then, for the armature to follow control bone, an inverse kinematics constraint is required. Inverse kinematics constraint is applied to one of the bones in the armature with the constraint instructed to use the armature control bone. So, to demonstrate the inverse kinematics constraint, Select bone 004 in pause mode. Go over here, switch to pause mode. Select the bone 001. I'm gonna be using the bone 001 like this. In the properties editor, click the bone constraints. Go over here, scroll down the mouse wheel, click on this button bone constraints properties. Click to display this drop down menu. Click Add Bone Constraint, 
like this, then select inverse kinematics constraint in the menu that displays. So over here. And you have the bone is highlighted in this gray color. So in the inverse kinematics constraint panel, set target as armature. Target as armature and bone as control. Control like this. I have deleted the mesh the hand because we have a lot of issues so just I'm gonna be working on this pose to show you the principle of inverse kinematics constraint using bones I have to remember that uh, this is setting controls for bone 001 like this in the armature when the control bone is selected in pose mode and translated in 3d view editor bo this bone 001 Follows having the IK constraint in place means the remainder of the bones in the armature chain follow. So let's uh, move move on. And you can see it clearly that that is working. Select this bone. It should be uh, switch it to edit mode like this and go to select the control bone that's gonna be controlling the movement and the translation of the other bones, the other armature. Go over pose mode, so select the bone control over here. So let's just move it. And you can see that these two bones are gonna be following the control bone. So let me show you now, now something uh, pretty interesting, which is make particular note of the chain length setting. Go over here, we have chain length setting. For example, you can set it to 5 like this and switch to pause mode, select this bone and grab it like this. And you can see this constraint in the IK constraint panel chain length 0 means all the bones in the armature chain are affected. Go back to this mode like this. Select the bone. Go over here and you have set it to 6. You can set it to 0. And that's it for the inverse kinematics constraint for rigging and countering bones and our measure. Thanks for watching.